Hi guys, good morning. It's dark again. <laughs> it's been perpetually dark. I feel like I'm fucking living in Game of Thrones and winter has arrived because I swear to fucking God, the sun, the sun, what does that look like? I've never seen it. Feels like that. Um, I don't even know where to start with this video. I've, I've tried to sit down and do a video about three times over the last few days and I've just not uh, it's, it's just, I, it feels right, I sit down and it doesn't feel right and things have happened that have upset me a great deal and, you know, turbulence and, and just, just, it, okay, in, in the middle of all this insane chaos, right, this, this, this nosedive into darkness that we are experiencing, I mean, it's really just gone, it, it's just reached a whole new level, or should I say, it's, it's just, yeah, a whole new level, but in the inversion, a whole new level doesn't go up, it goes down, doesn't it? The abyss, the abyss. It, it's literally, oh, I don't know, it has, to me, it has all the qualities of the journey of the phoenix right and right now I for one feel like I'm crashing and burning in a major major way yeah because shit happens right shit happens people let you down the system turns out to be pure demonic evil when it comes for you and whatnot. You know, you, you you go to work and you all of a sudden you have this this horrible gut wrenching laden gnosis that this place is pure evil and I hate being here and it's killing me slowly and I need to get the fuck out of here. But you know, you find out that you, you, you oh, it's, it's, I don't even need to go into it, guys, because you already know it. You know it. You know. This place we call reality, which is a ridiculous word because it's not real at all. It's fucking bullshit. Whatever this is, it is literally not real. It is a kind of simulation. And I am not... Um, I'm not one of these fucking NPC nerdy people that thinks that this is a simulation for real, that it's AI, because it isn't. It's not. That is so left brain think. I mean, I think way beyond that. <laughs> I, you know, I don't sit around and waste my time with ridiculousness anymore. I, I've stopped doing that years ago. And the deeper you go within yourself, you know, the higher you, you really, your perspective just just gains momentum um, I still come across these people seriously man that thing going within means thinking about what's going on in the world it's like what the fuck I, I still realize that you know there is only one place to go here and there's only one being that you can rely on and that is here me I cannot rely on anything or anyone for anything whatsoever. And it's all literally just slipping away. Slipping away. And I think it has to be that way. It's a really, really hard lesson. It's not even a lesson. It, it just has to be this way. It's like when everything leaves and you're left all alone, when people you thought were friends turn out to be two-faced, unreliable and dishonourable with no integrity because, you know, it's like, oh yeah, I've got your back and yeah, I will do this for you because it's the right thing to do and I will do it. And then it turns out that, wow, you didn't do it at all. And it's it's just, it, it's betrayal, you know, when you thought you were on the same page as people, you know, like people of your family, people that you, 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 oh man, and it's like all of a sudden, I mean, you know, they were there with the yellow vests and they were there with this and they were there with that and you thought they got it. 
And then it's like, oh, but all of a sudden they've changed it into something else. It's like invasion of the body snatchers. That's what really seems to be going on here. It's, it's like, I thought I knew you, but I don't. You're not the person I thought you were at all. Just, you know, those moments where it's just when you think perhaps I can relax a little bit now and, you know, and then you get that letter or you, 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 you have that altercation. Somebody just comes up to you in the street and starts barking at you, whatever. It's, it's all these different things and it's different things for different people. It's, it's shit happens that, you know, at this, at this stage makes you super aware of yet another, of yet a, a deeper layer of trauma. And this layer, this layer is, is, it is, oh man, oh, you know, as I, in my last few videos, you know, I've spoken about how, how difficult it is to really put this into words. I've seen over the years, I've seen many YouTube videos of people that talk about narcissism or that talk about the truth of, supposedly, of what's going on in this realm, this, that and the other, you know. And I have to be honest when I say that they miss the vital clue. And I call the vital clue, this is what I call the hell contagion. People are forever busy trying to fix things, trying to tinker, oh, if I only do face yoga, then I'll be all right, if I only, you know, if I only, you know, I'll find my creativity, and, you know, if I find a perfect career, or if I, you know, whatever, just a minute, guys, I'm just gonna turn the heat off, because fuck me, it's boiling, whatever, I mean, you know, this place, this reality ain't fit for purpose, and there is only one thing that can be done with it, it needs to be dissolved, it needs to be gone, I'm not here to fix any fucking thing at all. Everything that that I, I I used in one shape, form, or another as as a support mechanism or a crutch or a walking stick is gone. It's gone, right? So what do I have now? I have me. That's what I got. I've got me and my true essence. And what is my true essence? That is my true self. That is not my trauma. That is not the part of me that is that is so broken that it's completely insane with the pain. I've been there. I've seen that. I have I experience it now every day as I as I as I work through process and and those are just fucking words cuz and they don't really describe what, I, what I've been going through at all. The deepest fear of the knowing that this, this world is one large concentration camp where we are violated and brutalized and brutally mind controlled every day. There is no safety. There is no well-being. And still there are people that seem to think that it's perfectly natural to die, that it's perfectly natural to be sick, that it's perfectly natural to grow old, that it's perfectly natural to have to work all hours fucking God sent to, to work for a living, that it's perfectly natural to go through the menopause which destroys a woman's body, right? That, that DNA is natural. You know, DNA isn't natural. DNA is programming. DNA is what they did to us to program us. This is how we inherit all the trauma of our ancestors, which is then triggered epigenetically when we, in turn, are traumatized. And everybody is traumatized here to the max, to the hilt, in incredible, unspeakable ways. There are no fucking way, there's no way to put it into words. But it isn't real. It's a simulation of, of a kind. It's projected by our consciousness. Because the two, the true culprit of it all, the inception of it all, lies within our consciousness, I feel. And it, I call it the hell contagion. And it is what I've been, 
you know, and, and but there's been a shift, there's been something very meaningful has been happening whereby I, things have happened um, to me in the last week that have brought up a whole new layer of overwhelming trauma, literally where my body is shaking. I mean, I'm, I'm literally in a state of just, just it, I can't even put it into words. It's really severe trauma. It's, it's really brought it home to me in a very, very, very clear way. It said, there you go, Anika, behold the truth. Because that is the only way. I just people think that the, the only way to get out of here, if you want to get out of here, is you have to go through it. You have to go all the way. You have to walk through all the layers of this, 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 of what this realm is and what it has done to you. You have to, to face all the darkness within yourself. You have to become extremely aware of the constant dark broadcast, which I call the dark generator, which is literally like a radio broadcast 24-7 and people don't realize that all these dark thoughts that they have that cause these cascades of negative emotions all that self-hate that people don't want to admit all these other you know there's one thing i've become very aware of as well is is is, is people that want to be friends with everybody the, the clicky that tendency toward clickiness that oh to, to want to be popular and to want to be everybody's friend. It doesn't matter who, who that person is. They can be the most toxic, narcissistic, troll, bastard. But, oh, we're all going to be friends here, right? And it's incredible. I mean, that's something that I've seen happen a lot of late. This, this really two-faced bullshit of, oh, I'm going to be friends with everybody. I'm not going to have any discernment. I'm not going to have any boundaries. No. I'm just going to be friends with everybody, you know, it doesn't matter who they are, it doesn't matter what we are, because, you know, that's what it means to be a good person. I used to be that way a long time ago, but I worked through that shit too sweet. There's no honour in that. You know, and, and to, to, to be that way and, and to be friends that way with people that are, frankly, Wow, that's like, that's like, I, do, I just don't even have any words for that, man. But I see that happen so much. What goes for friendship in this realm, what people think friendship is incredible. And all of that happens because people don't know how to really be with themselves, how to be honest with themselves. There is when it's when everything leaves, when there is nowhere left to turn but inward, truly inward, really to come home to yourself and to understand, you know what, hey, there's one thing lacking in the equation all along and that was me not loving myself, not even being aware that I wasn't loving myself because I had the dark generator going on, the dark broadcast 24-7, literally, it's a tea bag in the hot water. The constant negativity, it doesn't, you don't hear it because it, it's not a voice as such, but it's, it's, it's like an energetic frequency that goes into you every day. And that creates the fake persona. It's, it's a being, a person that hates itself. And that is afraid, that has no well-being, that has nothing other than brokenness and fear and hate and vengeance. You know, and then the external cleverly gives you these, you know, these examples of people that were really badly abused or went through terrible, terrible times, but they, they managed to achieve great heights of success and this, that and the other. And so it says, well, look at you, look how broken you are, look how depressed you are, look how anxious you are, look how sick you are, look how, you know, how you feel paralyzed and with your back against the wall and full of hatred and self-hatred and self-sabotage. Look at, look at you. Yeah, and then look at them. You know, they went through ter terrible things and they were terribly abused. But look, they became really famous and then oh, they made loads of money and they did really, really well. So well, that just goes to show how utterly worthless you are there by it. Just, it just, 
reinforces the whole kind of how worthless you are programming you know it's all done on purpose because that is mundane reality reinforcement that is what it is people it's the worst kind of gaslighting true soul travelers man they they are in the firing line from the fucking get-go and so yeah some shit happens and it's rocked rocked the grid it's like a, an epic earthquake and it brought up trauma so intense and so overwhelming you know and So what do I do? I do what I always do, you know, I don't avoid it, I feel it and I talk to myself and I acknowledge it, get myself through it somehow. Because my true self has made itself known more. I'm more aware of it, more aware of who I really am in all of this. That I can choose despite everything that I can choose to love myself because what we're taught in this place is to fucking hate ourselves to, to, to have all these really ridiculous dark twisted expectations of ourselves oh well you have to succeed and you have to perform and you have to be like this and you have to be like that and you have to look like that you know, you have to make a continual effort, you have to, you have to, you have to. It's, it's so fucking sadistic and cruel. It's so sadistic and it's so cruel. And it also serves to keep us away from ourselves, you know. To keep us stuck in the trauma trap. Going around, around, around. You know, allowing ourselves to be used and abused by the narcissists. You know, thinking, oh, I'm going to be friends with everybody. I'm not going to have any discernment because that means I'm a bad person. I shouldn't have boundaries. That means I'm a bad person, you know. And I'm just going to be friends with everybody. And, you know, because, hey, look, I'm popular. Because all these total fucking assholes, all these narciss narcissists, all these trolls, they like me. They like me. I'm popular. I'm popular. Wow. You know. Or like... This, this, you know, people, people will do anything, anything, not to face the trauma, to go through it, to face it, to work through it. But you know, sooner or later, it will blow up in your face. I know it does because it does that for me. It says, "Okay, Anika, are you busy doing some, uh, you know, <laughs> some denial here?" So, boom, something will happen. You know, we have a card in the in the tarot. It's called the Tower. Well, that's generally what happens. You know. Or the Ten of Swords. It blows up in your face and it shows you the error. Because this, this is all about showing us that far from being this broken, paralyzed, distorted creature, we are something else altogether. And all the filth and the manipulation and the gaslighting and the brutality and the violations and the, the, the everything that is this realm, all of that exists for one reason only and that is to totally and utterly obscure, to sever us in half and to, for us to believe that we are this when in fact we are that and I've spoken about all of this many times anyway so I kind of feel like I'm repeating myself. Um, What's been happening for me is, Anika, it's quite obvious, nobody can help you, they can't, they have their own path to walk, nobody will help you, because you know what, some people you thought were your friends, well, you might have to rethink that as well, because for, to me friendship is all about honour and integrity, you have somebody's back, you stand by that person, right, you don't be friends people hobnob with people that abuse your friends you don't do that you don't do that that is a that is disgusting behavior frankly you know friendship is all about honor it's all about honor and integrity and i think people have have major issues with friendship in this realm they don't understand friendship at all they don't get it 
friendship is not about being nice to everybody and being friends with everybody regardless of who they are or what they are or what they do or what they say at all. Friendship is all about discernment and friendship takes time to grow and sometimes you know it's time to walk away and to let go of people that were not what you thought they were. You know because many many people here whoa geez wow mimics i call them mimics you know they they they're so good you think yeah they're for real but they're not they're not you know i think it gets definitely gets it gets very very dark before the dawn where you're literally left with nothing nothing at all but yourself and i think that is how it must be i reckon because then you realize that the only way is to hold on to yourself, is to be there and to say, you know what, despite everything, despite all the horrific abuse and the betrayals and the backstabbing and the skullduggery and the mind control, I'm going to love myself. I'm going to love myself because I deserve to be loved and I deserve true well-being, safety, creativity. I deserve true friends, you know, people that truly stand by me and love me as I am. I deserve to be able to really see who and what I am, what this place is and why I'm here. I, I, I totally deserve all the miraculousness and all the magic and all the goodness. I deserve for my dreams to come true. And my dreams coming true has nothing to do with staying in this place and, you know, whatever. Because as far as I'm concerned, this, this, this is, 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 is not real. It's, it's like you've gone to sleep and you're having a really bad nightmare. You know the type of nightmares that you get when you've when you've had a really bad fever or something, you know. You have these really dark, horrible, tortuous, um, surreal kind of nightmares. Well it I liken it to that. The sooner we realise that in the middle of the darkest of the dark there is only one place left to turn and that is toward yourself and to choose to stand by yourself and to love yourself to speak to yourself to speak to your true self to immerse yourself because you see the kingdom of heaven the great mother is within us your true self the great mother which is infinite unconditional love and creativity and when everything else fails you and everything else falls away that is the only place left to turn and it is the biggest leap of faith because you think and then what? And then what? All we've known is the most horrific trauma in this place. It is here. It's horrendous. Trust? What the fuck is that, man? Right? And yet, I'm managing somehow to tune into my true self, to tune into this essence, this love, to say, you know what? All the behaviors of the trauma self are self-hate behaviors. Self-hate behaviors. You know, when you don't let go, when you continue to hate, and when you continue to, to, to want vengeance, and you, we have these feelings, all that, it's there, all the, these emotions of hatred, of, of you know, perverse, um, passive aggression and I'm with my back against all and they're all doing it to me and I'm just and ooh, we know all the tortuous insane nuances of the hell contagion and, and, and which is all the trauma and all the programming and stuff and it's it's very much um, encouraged you know by the external you you just you know watch the the movies and the television series and you see that very very clearly it wants us to be um, in a state of war with ourselves and with everything and everybody else 
here the true self says you know what you need to forgive and I don't mean to forgive by saying oh it's okay or this or that no I mean to really let it all go and to say you know what I refuse to stay in this state of conflict this state of war this state of vengeance this state of victimhood this state of self-attack self-hate This state of, oh, I'm going to worry about everything because, yeah, like that's going to help. And I'm going to imagine a worst case scenario. That's dark generator stuff as well. You know, it does that. It puts shit into our heads, literally. Thoughts, nuances. It causes these cascades of intense um, fear. Fear so bad that your body is shaking. You can barely walk, right? Because your survival is imminently under threat. That sort of shit. This lies in everybody, but everybody is busy denying it. Everybody is busy denying the hell contagion and the dark generator. Very, very few people, in fact, hardly anyone I've ever met, is even remotely aware of it. You know, and, um, well, it's my life's work, you see, to... To uncover the, the truth that in all my life and everything that I've experienced there's only ever been one thing that I'm interested in and that is the truth that's it because I know deep down I know the truth shall set me free is setting me free because truth is love love is truth you see and it's a very harsh thing very harsh You, you can spend all your time focusing on the external and uncovering uh, the conspiracies and, and, you know, uncovering narcissist abuse and uncovering this and uncovering that. But until you look at your own shit and your own insanity and your own fucked up, broken, distorted behavior, all of it, all of it, all of it, again and again and again with all honesty and willingness and intention. Yes, I'm here. I'm going to look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. You ain't gonna get nowhere because you know and it's, it's these people like oh you know yeah the great awakening and this and that well no people no because you see if the hell contagion remains nothing will ever be all right nothing it just won't be it just won't be it's not gonna happen this world always tries to reset itself. Look at the 60s and the so-called counterculture. It's a bit like cancel culture. You know, culture is bullshit anyway. That's just, it's more programming than it is. No, it's more manipulation. It's more mind control. It's more distraction. It's more bullshit. It's bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Lies, lies, lies. All of it is bullshit. But you know, there was a seed of, of truth in there. You see, but it always becomes distorted again because the hell contagion isn't dealt with. You cannot change the world, but your world will change forever. If you look up the words world, uh, there's a website, Etymology Online. Etymology Online. It's a very good website. Look it up, world. It means, uh, you know, a, a person, an in, a human being. Consciousness, you see. That is all this is. And there is no difference. People say, oh, well, you know, you have the material world and you have the spiritual world. And it's like, no, no, you've got it all wrong. It's one thing. Goodness gracious me. <sighs> I'm at a point now, guys, where I'm, I'm really, really tired. And I don't really feel like doing videos anymore, you know. I know what I know. And I'm going to keep walking my path. But of late, I feel... I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm wasting my time. I feel like people aren't really interested or not getting it. And I don't think that's entirely true. I think some people are getting it and you're on your path and you're walking and you, you know what I'm talking about. I guess I feel there's a lot going on for me emotionally at the moment, guys. So please forgive me for my, you know, for what I just said. Um, I don't mean it that way, but you know i am i am hurting actually because wow but here i am it's not just me being able to feel my true self 
and knowing that I love that I love myself you know and that I'm gonna stand by myself despite the heart palpating fear not knowing what's to come and 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 my true self is there saying well you know what somehow it's going to work out but this is how it has to be this is how it has to be if you have still other avenues that you can go down you would be walking away from me and we can't have that so i've closed them all off so that you may now finally come home to me to see that you are precious that put this to the test put it to the test your whole life you thought that the way to survive and the way to stay safe was to be afraid at all times to expect the worst at all times to believe yourself to be a powerless victim with your back against the wall to harbor hatred and vengeance and self-hate because yeah and the system this this concentration camp panopticon fucking insanity has actively encouraged you to remain in that in that hell contagion yeah because that's the way that's the way to be and now you see that you understand that in full clarity you know what the dark generator is you understand that you see that in full clarity I've closed off every single avenue there's no nowhere left to go now and now you see that despite all of that you see it all it's all bullshit it's all lies you're gonna love yourself you're gonna stand by yourself you're gonna love yourself and you're gonna take a leap of faith and you're gonna say you know what there's all this shit going on that I have absolutely no control over whatsoever and I feel terrified and I wake up at half past one in the morning and I'm right awake with the horror of it all because the shit that's going on has just like a key you know I call them keys or you know triggers to just you know more trauma more awareness of what this place is and what it does but it's a purge it has to be it has to be healed because the trauma trauma is the gateway I've always said that trauma is the gateway and the more traumatized we are the more it uses that it uses it to keep us trapped in a trauma trap and to get out of the trauma trip it has to be healed for the trauma to be healed it has to be triggered so shit happens that triggers the trauma brings it up Boom. it's visceral you have to feel it and at the same time choose to feel it but not to go into it you don't have to stay in it you know you don't have to do the trauma behavior and uh, that's how it is i hate my everything is shit. no you don't have to do that you can feel it you can witness it you're here you're all that trauma is there and you're witnessing it and you talk to yourself and you say i hear you i feel you i know i get it i am here and i love you come home to me and do this do that sacred work keep bringing yourself home because the dark generator will not have any fucking power whatsoever once the trauma is healed once it's alchemized and transmuted the more we do that the stronger we become here in our true self the more we can tune into the great mother that sea of consciousness of energy that is powerful that is infinite unconditional love and infinite creativity it is there i feel that we will find what it is we truly seek freedom true freedom true well-being true prosperity true abundance true community true belonging true friendships true incredibleness magicalness and and and, and that's it the light reset it's interesting you know because i've been making videos for years and i've often mentioned the word reset and then all of a sudden out of nowhere they start talking about the great reset but of course they're the evil ones and they talk about the great reset and it's almost like a taunt i see it almost as a as a taunt i'm being taunted by the dark side you know so i laugh at that because that was my idea i thought of that years ago 
because it came to me in a vision and said, yes, reset. The hell contagion is what keeps us stuck to the traps in this, in this nightmare, creating shit. <laughs> Healing the trauma will, will, you know, will be the, the liberator. And that is what it's all about. And so for that, you have to go through this deeply uncomfortable. No, it's much worse than just uncomfortable, but I have no word for it. Ag ag agonizing process. And, you know, your supports will be taken away. They will be taken away because if it stops you from realizing that you must love yourself that you must stand by yourself that you must understand intrinsically that you do not deserve any of this shit but that you deserve all the aforementioned true well-being and magicalness the great light reset yes and that you're here to do something like that to achieve something incredible because believe me we're not here to be violated like this you know I mean, there's no way in hell that the, the forces of evil can create something as beautiful as a robin or a kingfisher or a great blue whale or a beautiful flower or a beautiful tree or a hedgehog. There is no way that I will be lying in bed with my beautiful cat Kismet right next to me and me loving him so much. You know, there is love here, there is goodness here. This this is simply a hijack, you see. It's a hostile takeover. And it always began in here, and I know that for a fact, I know it. All my work, my sacred work, my very, very narrow path has shown me that. Because if there's one thing that I am, that it is, you know, I'm very persistent, you know, I don't give up. And I've been through a hell of a lot, you know, and I've, I've endured, 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 and I've forged ahead. Because that's the sort of person that I am. You know? And so that's what I'm doing now, because there's nothing left for me but to be here with my true self, the Great Mother, and to put my faith and my trust there. And every time, my trauma self thinks, oh, no, I, sh I should be afraid, I should be absolutely terrified, and I should worry, and I should imagine all the horrible things that might happen, that will happen, and, and vengeance for the things that were done to me. That's where I should be. Because it keeps coming up, like wave after wave after wave, you know, it does. Every time I make a choice, I have a choice, and I make that choice, and I say, yeah, I could do, I could go into that and I would really suffer and feel like absolute shit. I don't need to do that, thankfully. I feel this, but I choose to let go and I choose to love myself because I deserve to love myself and I deserve all the goodness and all the magic. So I'm going to take a leap of faith and I'm going to go with this here. It's funny because the evil, the dark side is always on the, on the left and the good shit is always on the right somehow. <laughs> it's always been that way. It's, it's helped me to know what is what, you know, to navigate as it were. It's really helped me to do that. Um, I... I'm going to trust that everything is somehow going to work out in a way that will show me beyond the shadow of any doubt that all my hard work has been meaningful and that it's all going to be good somehow I know it feels like evil's won I mean it's felt that way before but it feels like that now more than ever before really it does it's appalling wow but I, for one, I'm not fucking giving up. I just can't, I can't, I can't give up. It's just, it's not in my nature, you know? It's not in my nature to give up. I feel like... This is it. it is, somebody said that to me once. It is when, when you, you know, you're at your lowest step and you've really hit rock bottom. And there's nothing left, and there's nowhere left to go. Yeah, that's 
then you will find out what you really are, who you really are, and that's, that's kind of beginning to really emerge here. Something is happening that is profoundly good and, and incredible, and I can feel it, and I am choosing it. I am choosing to align myself with my true self. So I'm going to keep doing that. There's nothing else to do. Everything is pretty much beyond my control bar that one choice to love myself and to trust that in the power of my true self, the great mother, that somehow things are going to fall into place, that this is part of something incredible, not negative, but very, very powerfully positive. Because that is the maverick effect. Where it's like, oh, this really bad shit is happening, man. It's really, this is really bad. We're all screwed now. We're finished. We're done. And then out of that total evil darkness, chaos, something incredible unfolds. Something beautiful and magical. That is the maverick effect. I've, I've seen this at work many times, but this time it's because of, of, of you know, shit that's happened that has triggered such deep, deep trauma, literally. Like, <laughs> and we have all, all of us, true soul travelers, we have that within us, that that the most severe trauma, it's, it's it just, it's... <sighs> um, and, and yet, we have to go through all of that. It has to be healed. There is no other way in that. That is why I call it kind of like it's it's like the phoenix. Because the phoenix has to totally be burned. It's a death. It's a death. And it's a burning. And it hurts like hell. And we're terrified. And not just terrified, but also that all that self-hate. All that ugh, and all that victimy, passive aggressive, perverse shit. And all that vengeance shit and oh and i want to act out and you want to react and you want to do this and true self is there saying don't react be still be still be still do not react because i know my true self i know it's deep infinite wisdom it's all knowing it's love and all it sees ultimate discernment everything has an energy, energy signature you see and it's all about hygiene for me now because to associate with anything less than that is like sitting in a bath full of water and allowing just anybody to walk into the bathroom and pouring poison into it and you sitting in there wallowing thinking you're being popular and no oh, everybody likes me and we're popular and we're this and we're that and we're all together and we're this and we're that that is what people in this world do but the true soul traveler who walks the very narrow path will find that in isolation and in solitude you find your true self and that is the only way out of this place and I would add that everything that is good and pure and true, such as nature and animals, I will bring that with me. That is a part of me. I am a part of it. And that will come with me. And everything else, it will be no more. Because it's not fit for purpose. I'm not here to fix anything at all. It was always about coming home to myself and to love myself and to choose me instead of the hell contagion and the fake persona. I choose love and I choose me. And I will take that leap of faith and I will take it again and again and again and again. And it takes every ounce of will that I have and yet I do it because that is what I am. And that shows me something about myself and I love myself for that. And so that is what I do now. And let the fucking chips fall where they may. But I have a very strong feeling that all shall be well in the most miraculous and incredible way. 
And I think I'll call it a day there, people. All my love to all of you. Mm -hmm.